I see the theater experience as a co-created experience. It's like a feedback loop, right? So I am up there, yes, like I am on the stage. I am giving the uh, the performance that people have paid to see. And their feedback is what then like gives me more like kind of moves me through the art, through the day, through the the show. Um, and then like, it, yeah, I just feel like there's a, there's something that becomes so alive in that, in that theater, in those moments, that's, that's not create, that's like so unique and can't be recreated. Um, and even, you know, even if I perform the show, the same exact lines, the same exact characters, another day, it's going to be a different audience. So it's actually going to be a whole different experience for both the audience and myself. Sometimes when I perform, I learn more about my characters. Sometimes I learn more about my story. Sometimes I learn, I, I get to like learn about my own um, sense of humor and adaptation and and uh, intuition. Like, so there's, there's just so many layers of um, of exploration that I get to drop into when I'm on stage with the feedback of an audience. And it's this beautiful, it, I, yeah, it's it's a co-creation. After Hollywood Fringe, I'm like, okay, what's next? You know, like what's the next step here? And I really feel like there is, there is a lot of momentum with my show Breakup Addict. And um, it's, I'm feeling energized about it. I'm feeling ready and and really want to ride that momentum. So I am taking it to Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August. I'm going to be performing all of August, which is very different than Hollywood Fringe. So um, Edinburgh is a daily performance at the same time every day. So I'm going to be at 4.30 every day at the Gilded Balloon Teviot location uh, in Edinburgh. And it's August 2nd through 27th are the dates. So Literally throw a dot, throw a dart at August, and uh, you'll be able to come see Breakup Addict in Edinburgh. I really want this story to be told, and uh, and I think it's a story that uh, gives people a lot of freedom and approval for their own relationships, for spots that they may be in in their breakups, in their dating situations. That like we think we're the only ones. We think like, oh, nobody else has to deal with you know, um, feeling, feeling lonely and wanting to numb out because I feel lonely or nobody else has to deal with, um, having a, having struggles, setting boundaries with other people. Nobody else has to deal with being afraid of being abandoned all the time and how that shows up in relationships. And, and these things do, do show up for people, you know? And so, um, and there's, there's absolutely no question that this story has to be told and um and the best place to like to really start to um to hone the show you know and get feedback from audiences and really feel like the um the power of it so that's um i think that's why it has to be in the festival i know at edinburgh there are so many options right you're inundated with with so many shows to see and and all kinds of things, like not even just shows, right? Performances and acts and clowns and, you know, all the things. Why come see Breakup Addict? Well, I play over 20 different characters during the show, including the voices in my head when I am on dates with people, when I'm inside of relationships and something, we get into a fight or something happens. So uh, it is absolutely laugh out loud, LOL, entertaining. And it's also really educational. So it not only will make you laugh and feel things, but it will also leave you with a sense of, wow, you know, like that felt like therapy or wow, I didn't know that about myself. And I know a lot of people don't go to the theater for that purpose, but if you're really interested in personal growth and personal development and learning more about yourself and learning to love yourself deeper, this is the show to see. When I first thought about going to Edinburgh, I was like, no way. <laughs> like, that's too much. That's like, I'm going to die. I think I might die uh, performing that many times. And then as I thought about it more, and as I was sharing the show with people and doing a few like preview performances here in LA, 
uh, what I realized is that this message needs to be out there and needs to reach as many people as possible. And truly, I see so many opportunities for the show to go like a hundred different directions in terms of what it can offer audiences. So um, Edinburgh is the place for me to, to like actually really hone the show, like perfect the show, get to know it in a way that that I don't yet, you know, and I can't even see at this point. Um, but not only that, it's also a way for me to um, explore what's possible, you know, to explore what's possible with the show and, and where it could go from here. Um, and the other thing is I get so inspired by other artists. So to be around some of the top performers in the world, top theater performers, top actors and singers and clowns and, you know, every every performance artist uh, who's who's got just like oodles of talent bursting out of them um, for the opportunity to be around people like that in a community like that. Oh my gosh. Like that's, that's so worth it. Like I, I can't not go to Edinburgh. You have to come out and support these artists. There is such a range of talent. I'm blown away by the amount of talent that is in this festival, the amount of uh, offerings, the, the the different types and flavors and varieties of shows, different lengths of shows, different styles, different kinds of people. Uh, it is, it's, yeah, it's a transformational experience to be able to have access to all, like this, this entire uh, array of, of performances and live theater. And listen, we've all been so digital, you know, we've all been like caught on our computers for the last few years and and in our homes. And the the magic of live theater is something that we were not able to access when we're on Zoom, you know, when we're like in the virtual digital world. There is a there is an unmatched magic that is created inside of a live theater experience. And you have an opportunity to go to that and to see it and to experience it and to like let it inspire you and your art and move you. So see as many shows as you can. It is, it's going to be a wild, fun time. It's definitely not cheap <laughs> to, uh, to put on a solo show by any means. And, um, and so I really had to reach out to my community. I was able to fund a lot of a lot of fringe through my business and um I've gotten support through donations. I'm running a crowdfunding campaign right now, a GoFundMe. Uh, and that's specifically to take my show to Edinburgh Fringe in August. So the um the funds for that are to take my show to Edinburgh. And um yeah, i I do workshops, I do coaching, I uh host karaoke and trivia. I have a lot of a lot of gigs to support me in uh, in funding this venture, and um, I really trust that it it will pay off, and it already has paid off in feedback and you know receiving um, receiving love from the audiences. I'm Paige Wilhide. I am the writer, star of, and producer of Breakup Addict, which is going to be at Edinburgh Fringe Festival all of August, August 2nd through 27th. Uh, so come see me at the Gilded Balloon Teviot. I will be in the billiard room every day at 4.30. You can get your tickets at the Edinburgh Fringe website, or you can go to breakupaddict.com to get your tickets and come say hi to me after the show.